So I'm going to leave this toolpath uh, as is, and I'm just going to do some quick rechains rather than rewrite. Again, this, this part file is all about generating those source files to use later. So I'm going to go to my levels manager and I'm just going to go ahead and switch over to uh, level number two. Uh, that's my handle. Um, I am seeing the toolpath from the other one still there. Uh, make sure that's my active level. I'll go ahead and go up to my wireframe ribbon. Again, a point position. And I'll just do that quick little shift click since that worked okay. And we'll just go again about a quarter inch positive in X. And there we go. There's my burn in point. Now, since I've got this first toolpath all sorted out, basically, um, all I really need to do is, is rechain it. So um, I can do that a couple of different ways. I can obviously click on the geometry button and that'll get me to my chain manager and I can rechain there. Uh, if I want, I can go into the parameters for the toolpath, go up to my toolpath type and click chain geometry there. Either way gets me to the same place. Uh, the toolpath will have to regenerate anyway. So uh, whichever way you do it, uh, one has an automatic regeneration. The other one, you'll have to click one of the regen buttons. So it just depends on how you like to do that. Probably do the uh, other one, the third one, uh, the other way. So here I'm just going to go ahead and right click and uh, basically just rechain all, uh, dump the originals. And again, uh, sort of second verse, same as the first. We'll start with a chain point for my entry point. Uh, then we'll switch to, again, a, a clockwise uh, closed chain around uh, the DXF perimeter there. And I'll go ahead and green check, and then I'll green check out. And again, I should see, if I kind of look at that real quick in back plot, and I'm just tapping my uh, Sierra key, my S key on my keyboard, and we can see we are moving around that pretty good. A little hard, again, to see the tool, but it is there. But we can see that. That looks pretty good. All right, so same kind of thing. I like that cut, so I'm going to do a file save as. Um, again, putting them sort of right back where I got them. Just going to go ahead and make sure I call this one the handle. So I, again, I can keep them straight um, down the road because uh, you will forget them. I know I do. So I now have that handle as a source file. Um, again, switching back to my levels manager, uh, switching now to the base. Again, still seeing the toolpath from the other one, but it's fine. It's just distracting, but it's not hurting nothing to have it there. Uh, make sure I'm looking at just the DXF file for the base, which I am. Uh, again, um, that is my active level as well. So I'm making sure I'm just putting everything in a place where I can control it. Go up to my point position. Again, uh, shift click at the midpoint here. And again, about 0.25. I suppose I could have used that point I created before. Um, but I do, since it would be in the same place as this one, um, but I do like to keep associated geometry for toolpaths, you know, separate and, you know, uh, together with their own kind, so to speak, um, just to make sure I, I, I always kind of know what I used for any given toolpath. Um, so for this last one, I'm just going to pop actually not into the parameters. I'm going to pop into the geometry button here, uh, just a faster way to get to the, the chain manager. And again, I'll do a quick rechain all. Uh, again, starting with a point and then switching to a closed chain to go clockwise, green check. Now that toolpath won't regen automatically because I did that outside of the parameters. So I need to click one of my two regen buttons. I'll just click regen selected and that regenerates that toolpath pretty quickly. Um, again, I'll check that very quickly in backplot just to make sure I'm happy with the toolpath. Again, just tapping my Sierra key and you can see here we are moving around that. Uh, hopefully that shows up on the screen and that looks pretty good. So, so again, happy with it. Uh, all three very consistent toolpaths, basically the same three um, or the same toolpath, just rechained for three different basic outlines. So this one, we'll go ahead and do a file save as. Again, and this one, I will change the name a little bit to base again, just so I can keep them straight. Um, and at this point, what I then may choose to do is just go ahead and do one more file, save as, and just save, save this sort of as the, the you know, project master, toolbox master, you know, master source, something. So I know that this is kind of where everything originally sort of came from. I should probably spell that right, though. Try to spell correctly, guys. 